works, the blacksmith uh, metal work of uh, different people who are creating arts in voodoo. I think those are so beautiful. Those are so cute. Okay, here's the voodoo flag of Haiti. Here's a Catholic saint there. Okay. Kiki, you can put it on the table. I appreciate it. Okay, flags as fine art. They go all out. They go all out. Thank you so much, Kiki. Okay, here's some more voodoo art, spirits, and altars. Here's a nice picture they put here. Okay, can y'all see that? Okay. Voodoo is a strange mixture of pantheism and monotheism. Adherents of voodoo acknowledge one superior god known as Bondio or Bondi, who is beyond the reach of mere mortals and communicates through a pantheon of spirits who act as divine messengers. The voodoo pantheon. Okay, and here's a picture of an altar. Okay. Okay, and so I'm gonna just run through some of the different uh, voodoo pantheons and characteristics of the spirits. Papa Legba. Spirit of ritual keepers of the gates and guardian of the crossroads between the sacred and mortal worlds. His colors are red and white, cross keys, walking, stick, crutches, that's the symbol. Offerings, grilled chicken, sweet potatoes, and plantain, bones, small bag containing clearing, tobacco, and a pipe hung in a tree or a doorway. Hmm. Ceremon ceremonial possession, uh, celebrants, limp, around the temple demanding a stick like a can y'all got to bear with me uh what is a cantankerous old man uh favorite trees he likes the calabash never heard of it. uh catholic counterparts saint peter saint anthony and saint lazarus okay now the people that i'm not familiar with i hate to cheat a little bit but i don't have much time the Marasa, not familiar with her, with him. Uh, Loco Atazu and Ayizan. But I tell you what, I will come back and, on camera time and give them justice. Uh, Dambala and A U A. Okay, A. I cannot say it for another word. A U Da We Do. Awado Dambala. The only reason I can say that is because of, uh, if you ever watch Chucky, when Chucky wants to take the guy's spirit, the little boy's spirit out and put himself in the boy's body and then switch him up and put him inside the doll, he said, I wa dumbala. Something like that. But anyway, I can't pronounce it good. But for you all who really want to know, A-Y-I-D-A-W-E-D-O. Anyway, I am very familiar with Dunbala. So I will read Dunbala, the supreme snake spirit, and I was visited by the snake and his wife, Iwa Da Widu. Y'all gonna pronounce that for me, ain't you? The mistress of the skies are associated with wisdom and fertility. Colors, white for Dunbala, uh, white and blue for Iwa Dunbala. I mean, Iwa Da Widu. I cannot say that. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it unless I do it the way Chucky did it. Snakes and eggs for Dumbala, rainbow for Ayada Vido. White packet Congo for both. Okay, offerings, white chicken, white eggs, rice and milk. Mm, that sounds good. Uh, ceremonial possession, celebrants fall to the floor, wreathe and undulate like serpents and dart their tongues in and out. Wow. Favorite trees? Cotton. Wow. Catholic counterparts, St. Patrick for Dunbala, Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception for Ayada Widow. I'm so sorry, can I pronounce that? 
Okay, Ursula Frida, we know about her. Spirit of love and beauty is a spheres of influence. Her colors are pink, pale, and blue. Her symbol is checkered heart, white lamp with a white bulb, pink, and packet Congo. Her offerings is sweet cakes. Mmm, I love her. Pink champagne, perfume, makeup, Virginia Slim cigarette. Mmm, and white doves. Mmm, I like her. She sounds very sensual and, and, and seductive and romantic. Uh, ceremonial possession, celebrants dance seductively and flirt. Okay? And some other stuff, but I can't even, I think it's French, I can't pronounce it. Favorite trees is the laurel. Hmm. Uh, Catholic counterparts would be Matter de la Rosa de Monte Pavario. Hmm, I, I gotta take some Spanish lessons. Okay, and uh, look like it's, it's a whole lot of them on here, but I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna say the ones that I can pronounce and then come back later. But Giddy's here. And I know uh, one of my um, subscribers like Giddy, so let me go ahead and go through Giddy for her. Because uh, she has a beautiful off altar to Giddy, and I love her altar. But anyway, Giddy, uh, spheres of influence is family of spirits who act as guardians of the dead and as mitigators between life and death. The colors are purple, black, and white for Giddy. Uh, the symbols is skulls, black crosses, shovels, hot peppers infused with clarion. Offerings is black rooster and a black goat. Uh, ceremonial possessions would be celebrants dressed in purple and black, wear mirrored sunglasses and strut and curse their way around the temple. Oh, I would love to do that. I like you, Giddy. And uh, his uh, Catholic counterpart would be St. Gerard. Uh, Busso is another one. Grand B.W.A. Uh, Izili Danto. Ogu. Papazaka. Simbi. Agui and Lazarin. Okay. A lot of them here. Can't pronounce them good. Not too familiar with them, but it's so many. I have another book that have even more. Okay. So, I think that's going to end this one. Let's see if we got time to do another one. Okay. Be back in a second.